Decide by Dijot. It's 13 uh, songs, 36 minutes long. Uh, serving it up Gary's way, Dean. Um, this is, I believe, maybe a second or third record, I believe. Yeah, um, yeah. so Joe um, is actually Joseph uh, David Keery, who is best known as playing Steve Harrington in Stranger Things. Um, which everybody says I fucking look like, so stop saying that. I'm over it. My hair is back to you right now because I've had a haircut since February, and everybody's like, man, you look like Steve. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I'm going to punch you. When you have the long hair for sure, but he's like more of a brown hair, so I don't think that works out. Um, But yeah, he has a side music career. The first album was 2020. It was released in 2019, so um, a little bit jumping the gun there, bud. But, you know, technically COVID-19 came out in 19, even though it was spreading in 2020, so, you know. He knew. (laughs) <laughs> we report you decide on that. And um, he's also done a little bit of work with a band called Post Animal, I believe. But yeah, Decide is his second sort of LP project. So he's fairly, you know, um, active in the music space. But this is another thing where I was not expecting or like not really thinking of what to expect here. And then I played track number one, Runner. And I was like, Oh, this might be one of those situations on Audio Face where we have like um, the horrors by five, which horrors, is like it might be like a horror. It's exactly. <laughs> it's it's like a blend of all of my favorite weird indie shit into one record. Like it is. There's a lot of sounds in here that actually remind me a lot of uh, early Neon Indian, like Psychic Chasms. Neon oh yeah, Indian I was stuff. gonna I was gonna say that there's a lot of stuff in here later in the record that reminds me of Julian Casablancas and the oh, voids yeah. and shit like that. The, um, yeah, the voids especially. Hell yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of good indie rooting in here. Um, there's a lot of good instrumentation. I love the way Runner kind of blends and Brave flips into track. things. It's really really good, and I like how. It, the, the album really hits the ground running with the first two, even three songs, I'd say. Um, really yeah. great first three to open the album. And you continue to get like really good tracks through that. Yeah, you. I mean, the thing I like about it is it's very experimental, but in a reachable way where it's not too out there to where it can't reach people, but it's not too generic either where... Like my experimental ass bolt, enjoy it. Um, there's a lot of different sounds, a lot of different themes that you'll get through it. But again, it's it's cohesive. It works together. Like the bottom half of the record and the top half of the record are very different, but it all fits together. You know, in a 36 minute record, you can he's doing stuff where you can just make whatever you want in 36 minutes. But like, it's showing you that you don't need to use like an hour of time to get out what you could do in 36 minutes. If you can do all this experimentation, all these different sounds, all these different tracks and everything in indie and pop and um, like alternative in that space, like he's showing that you can do it. You don't need to take an hour or so. There's maybe only a couple bands here there that need to do that. And I love it. Um, that I'm kind of skipping ahead, like that bottom half of the record, I absolutely love it. Is that all it takes? Um, go for it. Figure <clears> out. Like when I got to that point, like those little, like that transition. Figure you out. All it takes um, to go for it. I freaking love that. And then figure it out. Figure you out. I should say. Love it. Yeah, figure out's a really incredible track. I think <clears throat> we did the beginning with Runner. We did the end, kind of nearly with Figure You Out. Yeah. Um, the middle with On and On. I think that's just a really nice sort of. Track, yeah mixing all of those things together you get some of the neon indian sounds you get some of the julian casablanca's things especially with the mm-hmm. vocal layering i would say that sounds yeah. very reminiscent of that and it's really i'm impressed because you have some tracks in here that are like a minute long 20 seconds long things you would usually or two minutes long even things you'd usually throw away as like interludes but they piece the record together which to, and, and then to the point of what you're saying with album construction and timing One, if you're releasing an album in 2022 that's over 50 minutes, you need to earn it. We've kind of said that a lot here, which means you need to be an artist who has shown you can do that kind of storytelling and execute it well. Or you've like, (laughs) yeah, you're really putting yourself out there and that might be a check you may not be able to cash at the end of the day. Because 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 of albums like this, because artists are packing so much into 35, 40 minutes. And then my last point is that most albums that express an electronic flair 
get really chaotic near the middle or near the end, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, as they like start with their ideas and then, you know, they're just kind of all over the place because they're like too many ideas. I mean, you have some bands. Too many uh, notes. Yeah, yeah, you have some bands um, looking at you, the 1975, who are very mature, so to speak, um, as far as like having released a lot of music and being very far into their careers, who still release albums that are just like all over the place. So to put something that is pulling from so many inspirations and is definitely experimental and indie but to make it sound cohesive is a testament to joe's talent not just in stranger things obviously but no no the the guy's going for a gambino here (laughs) he's actually a good musician too and the funny thing is i have no idea that that was uh, that was the actor i just like oh this is joe i was like okay cool and then i listened to his first record before getting into that and the guy's really talented. I mean, that is, that's a good, very, very good record. A very good second record, too. Um, this is the indie I've been craving. This is the indie that we need. I will say, one thing I don't usually notice with records, but like, usually I get through two, maybe two and a half listens to an album um, for audio phase. And then maybe I'll revisit it in a couple of weeks where I have time again yeah. in between podcasts or whatever. With albums that I like, I was listening to it a lot and a lot because I really liked it. This one on like my third or fourth listen, I don't know. There were some songs that I was starting to kind of get like over, and I don't know. Maybe it was just because I was listening to them a lot in a short period of time. Probably a lot in a short period of time. That's happened to me a couple of times with records. But like, you sh- like that did not happen so quickly with the horrors for me because I did that very often, and so well, the horrors is S tier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 five is like untouchable audio face just i will never forget listening to that album for the first time and just sitting there like this is um like this is unbelievable it's like fucking okay computer it's just you're not gonna touch it well what i'm hearing from you is that i need to stop comparing everything to my peak sexual experiences of listening to the horse yeah, for the exactly. first time like like ex- yeah exactly like not everything could be great sex sometimes you just get the job done and other times it's like a mind-boggling craziness times change values down okay but overall uh, <laughs> overall uh this is a very good record second album especially very very good and i am very curious to see the experimentation that joe continues with like he has earned my he was earned my respect he's he could have taken a lot of my he could have taken a lot of my what is this tv kid doing here kind of yeah. attitude but you know what that causes me to um Judge my bias and my prejudice. See what I'm doing there? Open minded Dan. Open Open minded Dan. Dan. I like it. Yeah. Arbitrary skill this week. Types of melons. Fucking melons. Um This is this is a good watermelon. Even though I actually really don't like watermelon at all, I appreciate that people really like watermelon. Everybody thinks I'm crazy for it. So it's a good watermelon. Like it's solid. I'm not going to I'm going to hold my fire for my watermelon. This is my <laughs> This is my pumpkin. Pumpkin, okay. Yeah. Um it, it represents arguably the best um holiday of Halloween, of course. And Halloween the best ho- Halloween's my least favorite holiday. Members portion. <laughs> members I portion. I hate Halloween, but members audio, portion. Audio face debates, members portion. I'm, I'm writing this down because like we need to, I know we have things to do technically, but I really want to have this conversation. Um, okay. But 